thought I'd change out my hat from the last video because, well, a guy just has to accessorize sometimes, you know? You gotta, you gotta switch things up a little bit. That's what we're gonna call a segue into this video. Do you want a chassis or a stock on your Bergara? Or, you know, really any rifle at all. It doesn't have to be a Bergara, but that's what I'm talking about here. So, I've had a few people ask, and even more people not ask, but we're going to consider the ones that did ask. Why switch out the stock, perfectly good stock, for a chassis? And there's a couple of reasons there. One is that well, I like to accessorize and switch things up a little bit. So, the factory stock that comes with the uh, you know, Bergara B14R here, great stock. Uh, it has an internal aluminum mini chassis in it, shoots lights out, it's completely free, free floated. That's a hard word to say this time of the morning. And no problems at all with that. With this rifle, I never even shot it in the factory stock. I immediately pulled it out and put it in this chassis. This is a MPA chassis. And there's a good reason for the MPA as well. And that's because well, I'm kind of cheap, and I found a good deal on this used one. There's a lot of good chassis out there. doesn't have to be the MPA. There's a lot of them. Anything that fits a Remington 700 short action, your Bergara will drop right into. Be good to go. So, anyway, first thing I did was I dropped the factory stock off, sold it to somebody that wanted a really cool stock, and slapped her in a chassis. Because... I like modularity and I like to accessorize and this thing was going to be just a competition gun. So back to the factory stock. No problems at all with it, adjustable cheek rest on it, you can slap any scope on it you want, uh, you can make it fit, a couple of bipod a couple of sling studs that you can mount your bipod on if you want to use a, you know, a rail mount bipod, you'll have to put a little piece of uh, ra Picatinny rail on here or you can get some Arca rail. Whatever you want, just slaps right on there, no problems at all. So, you know, nothing wrong with the factory stock setup. Uh, adjustable length of pull, there's spacers in here, you know, adjust the cheek rest, it's fine. You can make it fit. But for my needs, you know, for a competition rig, I wanted something a little bit more. And I'm going to set this guy over here real quick. And we're going to move this one around here and talk about why I chose a chassis for my primary rig. Uh, number one, it's modular. I can do whatever I want to with this. I'm a pretty big guy and a lot of stocks are a little bit too short for me. So, you know, with the chassis, I can crank this all the way out here, make it nice and long. I actually have shortened up a little bit because otherwise it doesn't fit in my rifle case. So. I'm actually using it and I'll crank it out a little bit more, make it fit. I really like the vertical grip, you know, that's a personal fit choice. I like an Arca rail, you know, the, my bipod and all that goodies have the, the Arca clamp system on it. So you got a chassis, slapped a bunch of weight in here. This thing's pretty beefy for a 22, uh, you know, it's light compared to some of y'all's centerfire rigs that are 20 plus pounds. This one weighs in right about 18 pounds or so which is pretty close to twice as much as the factory stock carbon barrel rig over there. But really it comes down to modularity, ability to customize, and that's why I put it in a chassis. So with virtually any chassis system, you can get weight kits for them, you can have a, a lot of them have a rail milled into them already, you can add spigots. Uh, if you need the night vision bridge, most of them will support that. I put this on here because sometimes I run a little camera out here. That's kind of nifty. Um, slapping on, you know, bag riders, changing out the grips. All super easy to do in a chassis system. Couple of things to be aware of. Um, one, it's likely going to be heavier than the factory setup. If you're into competition, that's usually a good thing. Number two is that 
occasionally people will have a feeding issue when they go from the factory setup to a chassis. And almost all the time so that I'm aware of, that can be remedied by adjusting your magazine catch here. Either up or down a little bit to get that magazine oriented just right in there, that'll save your feeding problems. Uh, almost all the chassis manufacturers that I'm aware of offer some sort of adjustable mag catch. So if the one that's in there you, know, you have some issues with, talk to them, they'll get you sorted out. Just so happens with this MPA here, I dropped it in and I've never had a feeding issue. We're just fine. But you may have to tweak your, your feed, um, your magazine catch a little bit. The other thing is, some people like the nice feel of a stock. And that's really cool. I, I do too. This thing, when it's hot here in Kansas, it gets really stinking hot. When it's cold here, this gets really cold. So it's not terribly comfortable to be holding on to when it's real hot or real cold, but you know, that's why I have gloves and toughen up my hands, I guess. So I can see where some people look at this and say, well, that's just not a real comfortable gun. And you know, there's something to say that. One thing you can do to really help yourself out, depending on what kind of cheek piece you have on here, um, there's pads available. I really like the Wee Bad little stock pads. Obviously, I like Wee Bad. So there's options to cover that up so you're not burning your face or freezing your face or you got a beard, you know, not catching it into the cheek piece, whatever. Um, but really, the options are endless. You know, folks that like the AR pattern rifles, a lot of times they really like those because they're modular and they're easily accessorized. That's kind of where you're going with the chassis system too, right? You can customize it, you can make it yours. Um, you know, that said, they're not terribly cheap. Um, you're going to be dropping a fair amount of money into a chassis, but if that's what you want, that's what makes you comfortable, more power to you. A lot of times you can find uh, pretty good deals kind of at the end of the PRS season or over the winter time when people are switching up their rigs uh, there's a lot of them that get posted for sale used and you know if you're like me and you want to save some money and you don't mind if things are just a little nicked up here and there because I'm gonna make it worse that's a good way to do it obviously if you can support the manufacturer by buying new go for it that would be the best best thing um, and you know you can you can support them by buying bits and pieces from them too so that's my thoughts on the whole chassis system. Um, if you obviously it's not a problem with the Bergaras that come with the you know, mini chassis in the stock and it's completely free floated, but if you're having some accuracy issues, maybe try a chassis because they're designed to be completely free floated. Sometimes people will bed the action into them. Um, with the Bergaras here, I've never done that, and never had any issues at all with them. So. If you want to switch up your setup a little bit and be able to easily swap things in and out, maybe a chassis is for you. If you like kind of the traditional feel, you like a lightweight setup, uh, nothing wrong with the factory stock. So I appreciate you all watching. Um, if you have any thoughts that are different than mine or you think I'm way off base on something, please let me know because I'm, I'm pretty open. I'm still learning too. So. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Take some kids out shooting. Go shoot a match, even if you're brand new. It's a great community. So, thanks again. We'll catch you next time.